You can tell where our priorities are when we leave a thing like who's hosting the show to a game of chance. Tonight on About Tonight, Australian music icon Mark Holden. Hey, hey, it's Tuesday, John Blackman and Dickie Nee. And everyone's favourite Catholic priest, Father Bob McGuire. With your host, Stuart Dolman. <laughs> Welcome guys to about tonight uh, show camera three two one one two uh, action uh, cut. <laughs> uh, I I'm Stuart Dolman. Stuart Dolman. <laughs> um, welcome to about tonight. Uh, what a great show. We've got a lot of great guests on tonight. Thank you, Andy, and as our little uh, house band that we've got over there. Um, let's speak about the guests. We've got Mark Holden from TV and the music industry. Can you believe it? Whoa! All right. Hey. <laughs> Two thumbs up from this guy right over here. Beep, beep. Um, we've got uh, camera three, th one, two. Uh, we've got uh, what? Uh, we've also got uh, we've got John Blackman from uh, Hey Head Saturday and from uh, Holiday Island. Can do, 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 three thumbs, throw, three thumbs up. One, two, three. <laughs> That's uh, Dicky Knee is what he also Dicky Knee on Hey 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 Saturday, but it's Tuesday, so. <laughs> Uh, it's the name it's Tuesdays. Uh, we'll get into that. And also we've got on uh, Father Bob, confirmed today. Father Bob, the man, the, the myth, the legend, he is on going to be on the goddamn show, which is really, really exciting. Um, the damn show. Sorry, the damn show. Sorry, Bob. <laughs> anyway, um, also... One thing's first, first, uh, I will, uh, first things first, I will have to uh, talk about this quickly. I have been, uh, d there's a button on this, on the table. Do not touch the, the button. Don't touch the button, please. People at home, don't, uh, don't, uh, Andy, don't touch the button. Uh, anyone who comes to the button, I've been strictly instructed to tell people not to touch the button, okay? So let's make that perfectly clear, as a crystal. Mmm, ah, delicious. It's crystal clear water. <laughs> anyway, moving on. So, we've got a great show ahead of us. About tonight, 10.30, welcome to the goddamn show. It's Stu, 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 Stuart Dolman, and we're going to do this, okay? So let's begin with the opening monologue per se. Pardon my Germani. German. German. Okay. <clears throat> so, uh, Japanese, uh, Japanese submarine slammed two torpedoes into our side, Chief. Can you believe it? <laughs> Uh, it was coming back from the island of Tinian, late. He just delivered the bomb, the Hiroshima, uh, 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 Hiri bomb. Uh, 1,100 men went in the water. A uh, vessel went down in 12 minutes. 12 minutes, right? Uh, didn't see the first shark for about ha uh, half an hour. Th uh, 13 footer. Uh, you know when you, uh, you know that when you're in the water, Chief. You, you can tell by looking at the dorsal to the tail. Camera two. <laughs> Uh, what we didn't know was our bomb mission had been so secret that our distress signal uh, had been sent. <laughs> they didn't even know we were overdue for a week. Uh, very first light, Chief, the sharks come cruising. So we formed ourselves into tight groups. You know, like old squares and... And you see like a calendar, like the Battle of Waterloo. And then the shark comes to the nearest man, and that man, he'd start pounding and hollering and screaming. Sometimes the shark, shark would go away. Sometimes he, w uh, sometimes he wouldn't go away. Sometimes that shark would look you dead right in your, right in your eyes. You know, like, uh, uh, the thing about a shark is he's got li lifeless eyes, like a doll's eye. When he comes out, he doesn't seem to be living until he bites you with those black eyes, and they roll over real white-like, like a, like a plate. And then there's terrible high-pitched screaming, and the ocean turns red in spite of all this pounding and hollering. They all come up and rip you to pieces. Uh, the first dawn, we lost a hundred men. Uh, I don't know how many sharks, maybe a thousand? Average six an hour. On Thursday morning, Chief, I bumped into a friend of mine, Herbie Robertson from Cleveland. Ever heard of him? Uh, anyways, a baseball player, Boston's mate, thought he was asleep, reached over to wake him up. He was bobbing up and down in the water, just like a kind of top, upended. 
Well, in the first half, uh, he would be bitten in half below the waist. And then uh, Hooper, Mr. Carl Cooper Ventura swung low and he saw us and he's a, he's a young pal, a lot, lot younger than Mr. Cooper. Hooper. Anyway, he saw us coming low. Three hours later, big fat PBY comes and starts to pick us up. And you know what time I was most frightened? Camera three, two. I'm waiting for my turn. I'll never put on a life jacket again. So 1,100 men went in the water, 316 men came out. The sharks took the rest. June 29, 1945. Anyway, we deliver the bomb. <laughs> okay. Tonight, about tonight, we got a great show. Andy, take it away to the break. back from uh, to the uh, to about tonight we're back tonight at the about tonight show and we're about to bring on our first guest here tonight uh, on uh, the this here tuesday 10 30 p.m check your local listings Channel 31 uh we're gonna have a new host tomorrow night it, it doesn't matter about that let's live in the now and let's bring on our first guest uh, he's been all over the telly and he's an australian legend let's make him feel real welcome welcome to the desk mr mark holden okay how you doing mate G'day. How you doing? You alright? Not bad for an old dude. How about uh, yourself? I'm oh, pretty I'll good. I'll just crawl over the Darrow yeah, and we'll yeah, be alright. Yeah, no worries. Have a seat. Have What's a seat. What's he drinking? Anything any halfway decent? Yeah, well, I hope so. I hope so. See how we go. I might have a bit later, but I got Can some we? work to just do. Just let me just see what it is. <laughs> That's alright. Is that that's actually I will have a slug of that. Is uh -huh. that piss? Oh no, no, no. Is that actual urine? No, no, definitely not. It's not urine? Hundred percent. It feels like urine. <laughs> It smells like urine. It's I think that might be your urine. I'm uh, not going to drink that. Well, as it I turns didn't out. test the props on that one, Mark. I'll no. tell you that right now. So, I'm uh, just going to sit here like a bag lady. <laughs> All right, I correct. thought I was in court one. In court, in court one. I thought I, I thought this was court one. Court one, yep. Right and left. It's clearly not court one. No, no, not rather. Right, Margaret not, Court. Right, I was thinking of uh, Margaret Court, could be. No, I was thinking <laughs> yeah, more yeah. along the lines of. You know, the magistrate's court. Oh, yeah. oh yes. attention, Your Honour. Sustained. <laughs> it is. Who's, who's, who's your mate? I don't know yet. You don't know yet? No, I don't know. I just feel he was Does he ever set. speak? No, no, he doesn't speak. Hey, just he, before he we just, get started. He just urinates. <laughs> um, we've got a little bit of a thing here, just a bit of protocol. Warned about this. Do not push the button under any circumstance. I just have to tell you, it's a bit of a, o, o, an o, um, a o h and s thing. Yes. <laughs> so let's just... Keep clear of the button and carry okay. on with the with the questions. Okay. okay. I like the, the these. Do we get to keep these? Oh, I don't know. I'll check in the box. Do we? Uh, no. Uh, do we have to check Hawkeye on that name? one? <laughs> hasn't, hasn't got your name on it <laughs> no, though. No, it doesn't. It's uh, disappointing. Uh, really. Oh, I know. I'm sorry about that. It's a handmade sign as well. But you know, we're getting there. Burger on the move. <laughs> anyway, all right. First off, the question on everybody's lips, Mr. Mark Holden, is... Stu. Yes. Are you a Ford man or a Holden man? <laughs> oh, definitely a Holden man. Holden man? All Un right. I thought so. Unquestionably a Holden man. It was man. a trick question, trick question, and uh, you nailed it. I Absolutely did. I got it and won. <laughs> no, always a Holden man. That's great. The old, the old man drove Holdens all, all the life, and uh, had an, he had an old FC at one point. Oh, yeah? Um, we had an EH. Okay. We had an HK. HK. We had an HK. Heavens. Okay. Uh, my brother had the uh, the, the uh, FC panel van. FC panel. Blue. Yeah. Blue. Blue. Electric blue? It, it was a, no, no, it was powder blue. And powder it was, blue. It was the shagging wagon. 
Okay. It was an actual proper go down the coast, you know, mattress in the back, shag and wagon. That's great. Oh. Oh man, okay. Gold for cool. Australia it was, it was. Um, now, the, the Holden been taking all their... Uh, their this all neck thing is going to be a bit of an oh and <laughs> problem. I think I think as you evolve the show, yep. you could work on your sight lines because I've, I've got neck problems. Oh really? Do you want me to move? I could move for you. Well, if you wouldn't mind. Yeah, sure, alright. That would be, I'd, I'd appreciate that. Is that going to cause problems with the There we the, go, uh, how's focus? that? Camera one, camera two. How are we going, Action, girls? Cut. Are we focusing? Action, how's that? Well, I think we're all fo oh, That's much better. I feel okay. a lot better about that, quite quite honestly. Okay, good. Well, I want you to be comfortable, I'm Holden. Just, I'm not sure how the captain feels. <laughs> <laughs> okay. the, captain, the captain looked like he's about to vomit. He's okay. He's got lots of uh, liquids on him. He's, he's, he's living the dream. He okay. is living the dream. He's living a great he's, dream. I think he might be slowly, you know, walking up here to give me a head job or something. <laughs> is that what's going on? <laughs> he's not, I'm not paying him, so it's, <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. It's all right. Okay, so you loved your, your, your brother's shag and wagon. What's I your favourite sh What's your favourite Holden, though? I would have to say the e EH. The EH. Okay, great. Stu? Yeah? What's your favourite Holden? My favourite Holden is, well, the Mark Holden. Yes! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gold right. for Australia. There we go. I love right. that. All that right. one worked. Okay, okay. That one worked. Yeah. There was a build up, <laughs> there was a payoff. We Here were we all are. happy. Here we are. And we got not even a little <laughs> flicker from the captain. Oh, yes, we did. Hold on. Hey, he's all right. He's okay. He's all right. Um, okay, now, just go to some questions. Um, now, you've had a very... Andy doesn't seem to be uh, firing up, though. We and, got... and he's his own man. As he is in his own, is he? He's his own man. He's oh, he's, oh he's, in, he's his own man. He's out there somewhere. We are yet to find him, but we got oh, a we live never feed. See, we never see Andy. We, we've got a live feed on him. Andy? Uh, action? No, there he's, he is. Right. he's there out he there is. somewhere. He's out there, there somewhere. There he is. Andy. Um, Rip, 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 give us a riff, Andy. Come on, mate. Yeah, play a little thing on your guitar, just, just Andy. Just a little riff. Just a riff. Anything. Hold on. Uh, just a second. We'll just give us five minutes. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, there we go. Okay. Yeah. All right. Now we're rocking. That's good. <laughs> Yeah, here we go. Cut. Wait, I got, I got one. That's great. That's deep purple. That is deep purple. That's, that's deep, deep purple. That's deep roots, mate. Deep space, deep purple. That's what I roots. like to... And yep. he's going for the roots. Man, he's good. Now, let's talk about music. Okay, now you started off well, with... Well, we a... just did talk about music. Well, I've got some really good questions about your keep music, off my friend. Keep off little old man to young man wisdom here. Okay. Let All me right. just give you a little bit of old man, young man wisdom. Yeah. Be in the moment, Stu. Oh, okay. Fuck the questions. We don't give a shit about the questions. Yeah, get out of here. They don't give a shit about the questions. Who cares about the questions? They don't give a shit about the questions. I don't the care about... The captain doesn't give a shit about anything. Doesn't give a shit he about really, shit. He doesn't give a diddly <laughs> squat about anything. Never shit a shitter, that's what I say. No one and he's got his hand up his pants at the moment. I think he might be giving himself <laughs> a blowjob. Just a second. <laughs> Now, where were we? Okay. Um, I was just giving you a bit of elderly old man. I've got my seniors card now, so that oh, really? I, think, I think you should be calling me uncle, and I don't know why. Uncle Holden? I, I, uncle Mark. Uncle I don't, Mark? I, I just don't understand why the indigenous community should be the only ones to be able to say aunt, auntie and uncle, because it's such a lovely thing. No, of course. I think I think we in, in the non-indigenous community should adopt that, so I'd like to be Uncle Mark from now on. All right, I'll be calling you Uncle Mark. Good on you. All right, no worries. Let's continue, Uncle Mark. Okay. Um, now, you are very responsible responsible for a lot of us young Australians coming up through the music industry. Nikki Webster, Del Goodrum. <laughs> you know? Hey, can I tell you my favourite Nikki Webster story? Yeah, you should go right ahead, please. It, it involves the captain. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. No, so, that perked him up. Look at that. He immediately came good. Just yeah. one mention of Nikki Webster. Yep. She is a heartthrob, that girl. Oh, yeah. Um, in my big uh, dilemma with Dancing with the Stars, Yep. You know where it was like on the news that I was Bobo and I was I was supposedly disrespecting Dancing with the Stars. I thought it was really funny. Actually. God bless you. That's yeah. because you're of a certain age. Yeah. But um, a current affair or one of those shows had an in-depth behind the scenes yeah. on on you know Mark's having a meltdown. It's all you know it's dreadful. Yeah. And they they thought who can we bring in to do special colour commentary? 
let's bring someone that's got some really deep insight into psychology, yep. into television, yep. and guess who they asked? Nikki Webster. They asked Nikki Webster. <laughs> All right, number two. How All good right. was that? Come on, man. <laughs> they went to Nikki. Oh, so, Nikki, what did you think of Mark's breakdown? Oh, did she promote her <laughs> album Strawberry Kisses at the end of the goddamn hey, I, interview? I, I had two cuts on that, Stewie. Really? I did. Oh, I did. Wow. I think that might have been the connection. Oh. Yeah. Okay, that's cool. Yeah. Um, Is it? Yeah, well, I don't know uh, that it is anymore. Well, I don't know. I I've think... gone off, Nikki. <laughs> yeah, <but laughs> she wasn't. She, she, she didn't comment what cut kindly on me. Does she? 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 She runs her own dance academy in Sydney, yeah. and uh, apparently they're really struggling for numbers. I saw someone uh, really you know, like they've got the neon, like the big, you know, like the plastic sign, and he please join the dance club. <laughs> Yeah, there, Nikki. Uh, but if you check the number at the, but the below the screen, you'll find Nikki. No, that's no, kidding. Anyway, um, moving on. Now, you. I was going to get onto this next point. Yep. Mila Mila Jovovich. Jo Mila Jovovich. Jovovich. God bless you for mentioning her name. Yeah, you worked quite. I uh, did. Quite, I, I, quite I, that's it. a long time ago now. It's, yeah. it's actually uh, twenty years ago, more than twenty years ago. Yeah. Mila. Oh my God. Um, Mila, of course, you'd know from the Fifth Element. The Fifth Element. Yeah. Um, she was also in Chaplin, and yeah. and she's got all those wacky. Films. What are they? The um, oh, isn't it yeah. like the video game and the yeah, zombies that, everywhere? Yeah, the video game films. Yeah, that yes, one, there's a whole bunch of them. Yeah. But uh, when she was six, 15 was when I met her, and 15, 16, and uh, I made a record with her, and and uh, we, you know, we'd sit down and she, you'd, you'd give her a guitar and you'd go, look, this is how you do a G. Yep. And and she'd go away that night and start working on things in G and yep. and and Great. she was just like a, a, a she could just soak up ideas and well I've got I've got a friend magnificent, who magnificent young human yeah, yeah, now yeah. now she's in her late 30s sadly she's almost yeah. over the hill well she apparently she's really good with a knife is she yeah because I know someone that worked with her on those zombie films, yep. and she taught, and she picked it up real quick. Really, so she's just really clever. There you go. Great. See, she didn't pick that up from me. Yeah. Are you um, are you a Bruce Willis, Willis fan? You like Bruce Willis? Big Bruce. Ah, uh, you mean Die Hard? Die all hard. that crap. Favorite Bruce Willis film? Uh, just did. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Yeah. Someone, I like you're being talked to. Hold on. Let's just just hear what they're going to say. They're winding us up. I think. I think okay. they've had enough of us. No. No, I think we're good. You know, we're good. We we're could good, do Mitch. another hour and a half, another two, two, three yeah, hours. Got, Let's do a telethon. <laughs> Let's turn this into a telethon. Who are we raising money for? Let's uh, raise money. Let's. I tell you who we should raise money for. Let's raise money for those poor girls that do runway modelling that fall off and break their legs. Oh man. Okay. The, the seriously. Let's 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 see if we can. Let's turn around the whole of Melbourne. Let's see if we can raise money for those gorgeous young 15, 16 year old girls who runway model and fall off and break their okay. ankles. Okay. We'll, we'll, we'll can do, we do that. We'll set up a I'm top three line. Of my life to that. How okay. about you? I'm, hey, I'm down. Are you Mark? up for that, Stu? I'm down. Let's see. Good. Okay. That's, that's it. <laughs> okay. We all are right. one. Thank you so much, Mark Holt, for coming in. You're an absolute bloody legend. God Thank bless you. Thank you so much. All right. You're, you're amazing. Thank you so much for coming Stu. in. And uh, yeah. Stu. Captain's there. All right. Let's go to a break. Oh, there you go, Andy. Beautiful. Andy's ripping again. about tonight welcome back to the show i'm your host Stuart dolman and uh, thank you very much to whoever's on before <laughs> all right great well let's get on to our next guest uh, he is very very famous he's been all over triple j and telly and um he's done so much charity work over the years i make him feel real welcome please welcome to about tonight mr father bob oh, mr father bob now i burst into the thing didn't yeah I? yeah yeah go for it mate Without falling over the duva. <laughs> All right. And sit in here. Yeah, have a seat, mate. Thank you. Lovely to meet you. I like your carpet. Oh, thank you. No thank worries. You. Okay. Have a Beautiful. seat. Beautiful. Blood okay. red. All right. Ow. Oh. 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 That could have gone that way. I could have made money. <laughs> <laughs> See? Yes. Insurance, comrade. Insurance. Uh, we uh, yeah. technically we have insurance. Would you? Yeah. We must. I signed a thing. Yeah. Yeah. We're, uh, nimble, I believe. Yeah. No, bingle. 
He fell over and broke his neck and he made a killing. <laughs> like Stuart McGill, see, he wants a t terrible lot of money out of playing cricket for Australia. Really? Yes. Oh, there you go. Because he got injured, he said, and they never paid the bills. Oh. Well, there you go. We want, uh, maybe they, they, they bowled him a bit of a googly. They did hit him in the head and the face and all that. Really? Yeah. Oh, there you go. But that's not happening here. Okay. No, it's not. Definitely not. Thank not you. at the about tonight. We're very safe here. Thank you. Thank um, you. But they don't fire tennis balls. No, they do not. They do not fire tennis balls. They shoot uh, shots of us talking. Oh, and thank you. I thought yeah. it was we were private. No, we no, we're good. Uh. We're okay. Um, now, just first things first, there is this button here that has been put here. It's a bit of an O-N-H th oh, thing. See this red button here? Yeah. Do not push that under any circumstances. What please. will happen? Well, I don't know yet, but they haven't told me. But oh. I was just told by the powers that be, do not push it. Please, Bob, All please. Right. Do, not, do not push. Okay, moving on. Okay. Robert John Thomas yes. Bob Yes, leave McGuire. Thomas out. Yep. Uh, bro, uh, I Robert don't know John, where that came from. Okay, Robert John... Robert John Bob Maguire. Yeah, that'll do. Yep. From Thornbury. Yeah, born in Thornbury, 1934. 1934. Yeah, depression. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So that means... Not that kind of depression that no, you no. might have. No, no, no. The real right. depression with no money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's a tough time to... to, to so you came up in Thornbury? A lot different than Thornbury. No, we didn't pay our rent, so we had to flee from Thornbury, Victoria, to Black Rock. Black Rock, that's near the beach. I know, and then you're going to say, no, nah, mate, that's a f you're a fraud because Black Rock is for the rich. Well, but in these days, not in those days. There, in those days, there was a separate part of Black Rock for the poor. Ah, okay. Was it good to go to the beach and, during the summertime? Well, I don't remember. I was only for good <laughs> Fat baby, as I was a fat adult. Oh, okay. No, we, we staggered around there for about, what, seven or eight years, and then we fled. Yes. We probably yeah. didn't pay the rent again. Okay. And fled to uh, East St Kilda. And then East fled to Paran. Paran? Yes, and Beautiful then grew up in Paran, here. and then lo and behold, ladies and gentlemen. Here they, you are today. They all died. <laughs> okay. All right. So you're leaving us alone, hanging around the streets of Paran. Yep. You didn't ask all for all of this. No, did no, you? no, but I'm, I'm, let's, let's well, go I'm interested. This Okay. What that's happened? Great. That's what I want to know how I got here. So you have to go over the whole story. Yep. And you found the place all right? Exactly. Thank right. God. Thank and goodness. a machine that needs, you need to be a road scholar on those parking machines. Oh, tell me about it. Swipe this, pop that, do yep. this, Self do X. that. And if you don't, we're under arrest, <laughs> which is in the same building as your studio. Exactly. You can, you can go pay the civic compliance uh, fine downstairs. Yes. How convenient. Or end up on Manus. On Mars. M like, Mars like, Island. like Andy. See what I mean? Yeah. Mm. Uh, I hope you're going good, Andy. <laughs> anyway, um, so you were a beekeeper. Yes. Yes. Tell yes. us about that. I what's, could your, have, what's your I, favourite bee? Uh, my famous bee is bee for Bob. Bee for Bob? Yes. That's why you love bees. Or bee for bullshit. <laughs> okay. See? What's your favourite bee, though? No, the bee. Well, there's only three kinds of bees. Okay. No, four, is there? The queen bee queen. that lays the eggs. Yep. The um the the drone, the drone, the which is bee? no, no, the drones are the blokes. Dr drones are the blokes. Yeah, Bloke drone. useless. Oh, <laughs> sorry. The other that. ones are the worker bees. Yep. Who are hermaphrodites? Really? They are neither one thing nor the other, or they are both. Okay. They are the ones who do all the work. They go flying away and come back with pollen on their little legs. Yep. Yeah. On their stamens. And they on their whatever they are, and they they look after the queen bee. And yeah, it's not a bad. It's not a bad. But you'd have to be commo because yes. you see, if you don't work, they throw you out. Yes. See yes. now we don't like that, do we? No, not in Australia. No, no thank you. Yes. Workplace uh, relations gone awry because the drones get thrown out first because they're the blokes. Yes, and they're oh. they're all sitting around watching Channel Thirty One. <laughs> yes, and then when they say boys go out and work, please, they say no, nah, we're watching Channel Thirty One. Oh, okay. So they say, well, bad news, comrades. In come the workers. You're out of here. <laughs> yep. Drag them out by the whatever they got. Stamens. So outside the. F and they're not allowed back in. Oh. Didn't you know that? No, I did not know that. Mm. There you go. It's, uh, it's the original it's horror show. Okay. But um, it's true. All right, have you got any uh, hive? Do you have any hives? Not now. Or no, I was no. thinking the other day, though. Thank you. Yeah. Because you look like a good honey. No, I was like thinking honey? the other day that a lot of people don't do any work where I come from. They've never been to work yes. in 40 years. And maybe you need some cottage industries. Yes. And one of those could in thank you for reminding me yep. is uh, beekeeping because you could produce your own honey. 
This is exactly See, what And I've this heard. all came from Channel 31. Yeah, and also that I've heard that America is really struggling for bee populations. Yes. So pe Australians are they're exporting thousands of bees yes, every year. Yeah, yeah, I know. And there's a thing that's hit the bee population around the universe. What are they calling it? Co colony collapse disorder. Oh. Yeah. CCD. Which I then apply to the human colony yes. around the world is, is, is looks to me as though it's going through the same the same um, uh, stages uh, community collapse disorder which is why we have channel 31 this is why we're here folks isn't it andy to can build you community <laughs> isn't um, it have you ever been stung by a bee? Have yes many been? times many you times. had to yeah, cop it you had to cop it yeah they're not the fancy bee suits back in now nah, well you had thing over your head you had a net and a hat yep and then you had, if you were smart, you had long sleeves okay. down to there. And then um, what else did you have? And you had a thing like that, which produced smoke. Oh, yes. See? yes, yes. Yeah, those spray things. Yeah, because yep. that tends to sedate the comrades. Yep. The same as you would say, oh, that's what a lot of the comrades do when they go home and sit in the couch. <laughs> they smoke and they're sedated. See? And there's a lot of parallels between Isn't bees it? and humans. I tell but you, you're stings, right, no, you're right. stings are all right because you can, in fact, use the thumbnail. Yes. And if because when he stings you, he pulls away and his his innards come out. Yep, I've seen that. So he's dead. Yep, gone. You get the nail and you go like that. Look, and the little sack at the end of the the barb it doesn't work. It pulsates. Oh. So your aim is not to squeeze that. Out she goes and she doesn't hurt. Oh. But we had a bloke once there with us on the beekeeping. Is this boring? No, no, I'm loving it. Who, um, he Let's would, do a touch the button. He had a, what's the, what's the term? Aphalaptic? Uh, uh, no, not epileptic. Some, uh, the thing immediately went into that. Oh, yeah. okay. So oh, he, wasn't, he, he couldn't come back. Okay. Mm. Well, let's talk about um, you, uh, a, a co-host on Sunday Night Saffron. Yes, with, with Mr. Saffron. Saffron. Now, I love the show. I always find myself listening to it on a Sunday. Yes. It's one of my favourite shows. Yes, I made him an offer oh, really? two weeks ago. I sent him an email because I thought he was in America, which I think he's not. Yeah. Saying, listen, That's Saffron. John, it's very elusive, Saffron. We are about to start another year. Yep. I highly recommend that you get yourself a younger co-host. Oh, why? Yes. No, Bob. You're too old. No, too you're old. Not. No, too old. No, too like, old. Look, I must I know say, nothing. I love you on the show. Yeah, I'm but I know nothing. No, you don't. Are you kidding me? And I must say, your your music, your taste in music is very, very modern. Do you think eclectic? Eclectic. Uh, you know, you always know what the, the cool tracks are. Who do you think is going to get Hottest 100 on Triple J? No, I know nothing. You know nothing? I know nothing. Kanye West. With right. Jesus Walks. Okay. I keep saying that over and over again. It's an old track, but... Well, I'll... some of the Triple J boys made me cut... What do you do? Cut a, a disc or oh, something. Oh, burn a CD? Thank you. Yep. For a fundraising thing where I had to go Kanye West, Jesus Walks. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, that's cool. So they can look it up on the thing. They yeah. can they can dial it up on the on the screen. Yep. Check your local listings. Jesus and walks. walks. Jesus walks by Father Bob and Kanye. Thank West. you. Yeah. All right. Uh, he doesn't know. Thank God. <laughs> it's like Jesus. Uh. Um, well, you have over one hundred and seven thousand followers on the old Twitter. Yes, apparently. Yeah. I mm. saw last night. Really? Yeah. Apparently they're there. Great. Do you play the Twitter games? Did you get the hashtag? No. Games? No. no. I, I can't understand the hashtag thing. No. And people are saying after Je suis Charlie. Oh yeah, yeah. They yeah. said this hashtag thing is 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 there's something wrong. They've 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 frightened me. Something I don't know what right. it is that's wrong, but they're okay. saying this is not. Okay. This is not on. But anyway, no, we just chatter away. Oh, that's and good. Because I've got no wife, child, or lover. Yep. Does and that, or. that covers everything, doesn't okay. it? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's yep. Well, then, of course, at the end of the day's play, one can sit in front of one's, whatever it is, electronic device and send messages to the universe. Great. Or the Twitterverse. Yeah, the Twitterverse. Yeah. I hope you're doing good out there, Andy. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, um, okay, well, uh, look, I've, I've, had a, I've definitely been uh, wisened up to the max on my good friend yeah. Father Bob. I learned about bees, yeah. learned about how to be a good person, yeah. and uh, just your lovely taste in music. Oh, that's thank nice. You so thank much you for so coming much. In, my for, thank you, comrade. Yeah, yeah, you've been thank an you. Absolute treat. Thank and you. And so I'll, I'll talk to that man who, who wants to take the money off you. Okay, thank you. All right, guys, we'll be right back after this with uh, Mr. John Blackman. Okay, welcome back to 
we're back tonight. I'm your host, Stuart Dolman, and you are checked in, cast in, and good to go. Uh, welcome back. Uh, thanks to all the guests we've had so far, but we're going to bring on another new guest. Um, he's been all over the television. He's an absolute bloody legend. He's been all over the radio as well, and we're lucky enough to have him. And please welcome to a bat tonight, Mr. John Blackman. Hey. Okay. Hello, oh, oh, right. everybody. How just, you doing? Hi there, Stu. Just cutting through the applause there. That's just fantastic. <laughs> okay. Great to uh, be here tonight. Thank great, you very awesome. much. Great, awesome. Hey, have a great thanks, have thanks a seat. very much indeed. No worries. Just uh, first things first, just to get it uh, out of the way. We've got a bit of a bit of a button here. We've been told by the management of the building: do not push the button under any circumstances. Circumstances. Do not push. It's what? a no, 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 take no, it no. easy. Take it easy, Blackman. Just, just seeing if it works. Oh, that was a close one. That's okay. close. There's no drop box. No, <laughs> no, no. Yeah. No. No, yeah. <laughs> the, guy, the guys will have my butt. I'll tell you that right now. Okay, all right. Okay, so, Mr. John Blackman, how are you doing? You good? Look, I'm very, very well, and it's nice to meet the son. Yes. Of Jim's mowing. <laughs> oh, I've got that before. Okay, Stu's mowing. Our Stu's dry Stew's cleaning. Mowing, yeah, Stu's yeah. dry cleaning. Stu's dog wash. Stu's dog wash. Yeah. Anyone got a dog I can wash? I need the money. <laughs> Stu's surrogate services. Yeah. <laughs> Yes. Yes. All right. Yeah, okay. Okay. Well, let's go to a couple of questions now, Mr. John Blackman. You've yes, got uh, you got the, the the color black in your name. Yes. Now, what's it uh, what's it like working with or uh, or working with the uh, the Red Man, Red Simon? What's ah, it like? Did you ever? Man. Yeah. The <laughs> Red Man. The yes, Red. I, I haven't seen Red for many, many, many uh, months. Really? Oh, yeah. No. The only time last time I saw him, we uh, we were at lunch together. Yep. Uh, with Ozzy Ostrich, and ah. we, we only take Ozzy Ostrich out to lunch. Once a year, just to make sure he's still alive. But uh, I haven't seen him for a while. But no, nah, it, it was okay. And do you know something about Red? Yep. He's exactly off camera as he is on camera. Wow. So he gongs you? Does he ever gong you? An absolute mongrel. Really? Yeah, absolute mongrel. Oh, right. Yes. yes. Red Simon's mongrel. <laughs> there right. You uh, you heard that, hear that, that, yeah. that voice. Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't, don't push. Okay. Mm, no, no. All right. Um, now. Also, uh, what's Plucker like when the cameras are off? <laughs> well, he's very much like Red. He's, he's very much the same. But um, uh, Plucker, I don't know where he is at the moment. I suspect there's bits of him in uh, Daryl Summers' boot. What? In, in his car. <laughs> right. And I have a feeling his head is somewhere in, uh, somewhere in a cupboard at the Summers' Carroll office. Oh, there but, you go. Uh, oh, he that's... is available, by the way, for uh, appearances. Um, I'm not too sure how much he charges. Maybe five, six. <laughs> Thousand. <laughs> Get Pluck a Duck at your 21st birthday exactly, party. Yeah. Uh, just www.pluckaduck.gov.au. <laughs> All right, great. Um, okay, so you, um, you've you written a few books. Oh, I've couple, yes. Yeah. Well, I haven't actually written them, Stu. I've, I've sort of plagiarised them. Okay. Uh, they're basically books that feature just one-liners, which, as you know, there's... I mean, uh, amateurs imitate professional steel. Yep. It's a little uh, little bon mot I can give okay, you. Okay, bon mot. Like, yep. Bon yep. Mo. yep. Uh, but uh, now I've written a couple of gag books here, and they've yeah, actually yeah, yeah. they've actually sold very well. They That's went into great. reprint uh, probably two or three times. Oh wow! And they're available on the internet. On the interwebs. Well, no, I think they're available on eBay, but I don't get any royalties anymore. Oh, but okay. they are available in iTunes, too, really? which I do get royalties for. So have a look on iTunes for yep. my three books. Or Aussie two slang? Books. Yeah, Aussie, Aussie slang. gags? Yeah, Aussie gags. More Aussie gags. More Aussie gags? Yes. Yep, even and more Aussie gags? That's right. And yep. uh, and I'd like to thank Benny Hill, too, for oh, all yep. the gags, because oh, like most of them are his. Great gag man. Mm, great gag man there, yep. Benny Hill. What's your favourite Aussie slang slash gag? My favourite Aussie slang... Slash gag. Yeah. <laughs> well, my favourite Aussie slang is I don't know whether you've heard of a ring wobbler, have you? Ring wobbler? Yes. What's a ring wobbler? That conjures up wonderful, uh, <laughs> wonderful yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, mental images, doesn't yeah. it? But a ring wobbler is actually a horse that fluctuates in the, in the betting and it causes the betting ring to wobble. Okay. You thought it was going to be something totally rude, didn't well, you? No, no, yeah. no. I thought some, I don't yeah. know, like a promiscuous man or woman. Yeah. And, uh, and one of my favourite <laughs> gags is uh, out of my, my gag book, yep. uh, More Aussie Gags or Aussie Gags, available at iTunes. iTunes. Um, my f I, I can't. Oh, there's so many of them, really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, although I can give you a tip. Yep. On uh, how to keep your kitty litter yep. smelling fresh and clean all the time, okay? Okay, yep. Get rid of the cat. <laughs> <laughs> Little tip. You heard it here first, folks. I tell you what, Red Red Man is a Red 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 Simon is a mongrel, and keep your cats away from the kitty litter. All right, great. Um, well, your TV credits include uh, Hey Hey Saturday, of course, Correct. Family Feud, Paul Hogan Show. I did about seven or eight of those. Although yeah. you wouldn't recognise me because 
They used to put a moustache and a beard on me, just oh, okay. like you've... Oh, well, that's your real one, that's isn't real, it? That's yeah, real, yes, yeah. it's le legit. Yes, but they used to dress me up in wigs and all sorts of things. But, uh, yeah, I did, I, I did around about five or six of his shows. He, that's great. He is a great man, yeah. lovely man to work with. And, uh, you know, the opening monologues, I don't know how often you've seen Paul Hogan. Yep. Those opening monologues, which went for about oh, seven or eight minutes, memorised the whole lot. Wow. Didn't see a cue card anywhere. Wow, oh, so okay. So that's how talented Old he was. Old school, mm. okay, mm. great. Um, also, you worked on Blankety Blanks, Holiday Island. Holiday, um, <laughs> Holiday Island. Prisoner yeah. and yeah. the world's craziest inventions. Now, in your opinion, what is the world's craziest invention? That you come, what do you reckon? Television. Television, mm. TV. Followed closely by radio. Okay, all right. Two of the industries you are very well in uh, very involved with. Followed closely by the mix master. Ah. There we okay. go. In that order. In that order. Mm. Okay, mm. great. Um, and you do a lot of work for Variety and... Uh... Oh, I used to do a lot of work for Variety. Not, yep. not so much these days. Variety, the children's charity. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah. Uh, but everybody in show business has a connection with Variety. So yep. I was their vice president there for a while. Oh, wow. Um, oh, years ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ancient history still. Yeah, oh, that's all right. But, still uh, but I do support them and uh, and so yeah so that's a good charity to support good stuff underprivileged kiddies good stuff mm. and um, you'd still do your work on 3AW and all that kind of stuff uh, it has been a while so, oh, well 3AW only do Thursday nights with Uncle uh, oh, not Uncle Roy um, <laughs> Bruce and Phil <laughs> Bruce and Phil. Bruce and Phil Bruce Mansfield and Philip Brady I do Thursday nights with okay. them named real Phil Philip Brady that's his name Philip Bradio. Oh, Brady. <laughs> no, that's Philip Brady. Okay. Um, Brady. But they have been doing a show called Nightline, which some of your older viewers would probably know. Yep. Uh, they've been doing that for about, I don't know, 23 years or something oh, wow. like that. You okay. Know, so it's, it's, it's quite an institution in okay. Melbourne. Okay. Yeah. Well, there you go. Mm. Well, um, thank you so much for coming in. So uh, you've been an absolute treat having in on the show. And, oh, fantastic. Um, it's been a pleasure being here. Oh, too, thank Stu. you so much, John. Yeah, uh, thank it's you very been much. great. So I'll just have a, a drink of this pretend water. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, after the break, um, I think we're just going to wrap up this uh, goddamn show. So um, we'll see you after the break, guys. Just the two of us. <laughs> Love your band. Oh, thank you. Yeah, great. How many pieces? about tonight with your host Stuart Dolman thank you so much to Tegan Higginbotham last night for hosting up to the crack of the show uh, we got yep uh, we got someone uh, on the show as well I don't know I don't know who he is how he got here it doesn't let's move on shall we <laughs> all right um well I every week I make these little videos called Stews Days so I'm going to show a little uh, little video of hey, the... hey, hey excuse me <gasps> 
Dickie Nee, what the hell are you doing here? How come I'm not on the show? <laughs> you you are you are you're on the show right now. Come on. Oh, is that right? Hey, hey, what's Stu short for? Uh, Stuart. Stupid. What? Stupid. Stupid. Oh, yeah. Dickie, I've had it. I've had it here. And what does this button do, by the way? No, 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 Dickie, don't, don't push it. Don't push it. it. Says, do not push. I've been told by the people above that I will get in a lot of trouble, Dickie. Please, please. Dickie, I'll do anything. All right, okay. Or anything? Well, kind of. Well, okay, <laughs> Be reasonable, right? right? So, they, so what's this uh, YouTube stuff? You should call those YouTubes. Right? YouTubes. Yeah. I yeah. will talk to my marketing manager about that. Get Thank a, you so much, Dickie. Get a bit of branding going. All right, right. yeah, we'll uh, talk. We'll heard talk. It, okay. Heard it from the Dickster. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Your people talk to my people. Oh, okay. That's right. All right, great. Well, look, uh, let's just check out. Okay, let's check out hey, this. Excuse uh, me. Does this guy has he ever been on Gilligan's Island? <laughs> <laughs> aye, aye, Captain. Hawkeye, <laughs> eye. all right, Captain Bird's eye. All right. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, going to go cut to a little video that I made for this uh, particular show. It's um, it's all about my son. So uh, let's take it away. Uh, the new Tuesdays. Check out youtubecom forward slash Tuesdays. Lol. Take it away. Uh, video guy. <laughs> yeah, right. What you said. Yep. <laughs> Folks, what a great show we have had tonight at the About Tonight Show. Oh man, thanks for tuning in. We had so many great guests. Uh, camera one, camera, camera two, camera one, uh, camera, camera one. Uh, one. Uh, we had 
John Blackman came in and said good day. Uh, we had Dickie Knee. What a dream, eh? Am I right? Still don't know who this guy is. <laughs> yep, uh, we had uh, Uncle Mark Holden as well. Uncle Mark Holden, you know, talking about all kinds of uh, great cars, which is pretty exciting. Uh, we had Father Bob, of course. How can you not uh, forget Father Bob? What an absolute legend of the game. Legend of the, the game, the name game fame. Um, all right, so uh, tomorrow night show. I just want to say thank you to everyone that was on tonight. Thanks for tuning in. Tomorrow night, we have a new host. We have Laura Davis. Laura Davis, an absolutely awesome comedian. She's been doing amazing stuff at all the bloody festivals. Um, she's got uh, Melbourne MP, Alan Sandell, which is exciting. Uh, we have uh, Tess Ward, is another award-winning uh, comedian as well. And uh, we have Ben McKenzie on the show as well. So tune in tomorrow night, 10.30. If you want to check out some Tuesday stuff, that's Tuesdays.com, uh, uh, YouTube.com forward slash Tuesdays, lol. Or I go to Facebook, you find my name and all that kind of stuff. And, I uh, also like the About Tonight page and tweets and uh, do all the stuff you like the show. Hey, what does this fucking button do? What? This button? No! There'll be peace when